All right, today's video, we're gonna cover controlling the orientation of your work coordinate. Um, oftentimes, you're going to need to align the work coordinate of, the, of what you're gonna be programming with the program or with the print that you're getting ready to program from. Oftentimes, we see this with NC Merge, where we're using existing three-axis programs and we're lacing those together with conversational transform planes. Each one of those was written with a certain orientation of the coordinate system, and we may need to align that with the part so we can control where that's gonna happen and those programs will work correctly. So the example that I have that I'm gonna use here is we're gonna put Herco on all on the, the front, top, and right side of this part, and we wanna make sure they're all oriented correctly. So here on the right side, we see Herco and it is in almost like a sticker that you would put on a cube like this. If we use our traditional transform plane like we've been doing and we just rotate around the Y axis to the right side, that would work very well, but we would be, our Herco would be running up and down, so it would be 90 degrees out from where it should be. So there's a couple ways that we could take care of that. Since we're programming in this example, simply a text block, we can use the orientation field here to rotate it into position. But if we were using an NC merge or we wanted to align the work offset to match the location of the print and the numbers we're going to take off of that print, we would want to use the transform plane with two different rotations in it. So if I wanted to do this transform plane, the way that we would do it in the origin point is no different than what we've done before. We'll just put the X, Y, and Z values from the original work offset to the new one. But then we're gonna rotate around two different axes. Now remember what we talked about in a previous video, these rotations happen in alphabetical order. So any rotations around X will happen before B, or Y, and then before Z. So if we look at our little Cartesian coordinate system here, we're gonna rotate around X 90 degrees. That looks just like what we've been doing all along throughout these videos in the class. But now we're gonna rotate around the Z axis. Take a look at what happens with the X axis when I do that. So when I rotate around the Z, it is now aligning the X axis along what was the bottom of the right side. So much different than what we have seen previously. So that looks like this if we put that on the part. So now we're able to just program this mill, mill text block like we normally would. In the center, we would be controlled by using a positive three in the X and a positive Y um, to get that to the center, of the, the center of that side of the part. So hopefully this will give you a little bit of a visual on how to control where the X, Y, and Z axes are pointing to get those in your desired orientation before you either start programming some conversational blocks, before you merge in an NC program, or do whatever it is that you need to do.